Dude, you can't... Oh, fuck. You can't retire me. There's so much I haven't done. And the blue Stanley had bad. never seen the office this brightly lit. Was it a sign of something? He hoped it was. He hoped very much that it was. My bucket's back. We're back in this fucking delusional ass place. My bucket, I missed you. The bucket you. made Stanley want to be a better man and a better co-worker. In time, perhaps, he would become both of those things. Stanley clutched the bucket tightly to his chest and entered the door on his left. All right, well, here we are. Me and my bucket back at it again. Moving Still forward. Still no one was here. Stanley needed the bucket's warmth and comfort now more than ever. Perhaps his boss's office was where he'd find answers. Oh, Stanley, can you feel it? The broom closet. It wants the bucket. You can feel that, can't you? The aura of jealousy? It's as clear it. as day. This I broom closet it. believes it deserves the bucket. I can really feel it now. It's a bucket. It belongs in a broom closet. That's what the broom closet is trying to say here. It's supposed to go with the other cleaning supplies. Good for you, Stanley. Don't give in. Don't hand over the bucket. I know how hard it must be, given the pressure that the broom closet is putting on bucket? your shoulders right now, but you have to be strong. This is your bucket. This is your companion and lifelong friend. You can't hand it over. Oh, no. We're getting into name-calling now, it seems. Is this how low the broom closet has sunk that it has oh, to God. resort to this stream of petty insults God, simply in order to get you to hand over the bucket? The broom Stanley, closet... I never liked this broom closet for a variety of reasons, but even this is worse than I had imagined. And wait, now the broom closet has the gall to imply that you and the bucket are not truly deep and lasting friends? That your relationship is purely superficial and convenient? That your life is so banal and meaningless that you'd feel the same sort of kinship towards any inanimate object which happened to lay in your path in an even partially enticing manner? Well, I'd never. Go on, Stanley. Lay into it. Really tell the broom closet off for its demeaning comments. Fuck you, Expand broom closet. on the wide variety of experiences Fuck you, you're you tiny. and the bucket have shared together. Go through each of them point by point. Share your journal entries detailing the rich emotional landscape of your feelings for the bucket as they have changed and evolved over the years. Let him have it. Damn. Fuck you, broom closet. You suck. You suck. Okay, I hate you. I've got you something which I think will help settle this debate once and for all. Something? Here we go. Whoa! There. Now it's settled. Damn no it. No more debate. No more discussion. My Take a hike, fucking broom closet. Yeah, with all bitch. your meandering philosophical See, diatribes Stanley, about the nature of bucket. cleaning supplies my and their relationship bucket. to broom closets in the natural order of things. Fuck you, broom closet. You see this? You see this property of Stanley? It is my bucket. All now right. And I've forever. got a second sticker back here, and I'm going to slap it on as well because I think it's appropriate. Let's see it. You see? <laughs> I feel that it works because the sticker is also a bucket. That way, if you're ever unsure whether the thing you're holding is a bucket or not, you can look down at this sticker and say to yourself, Ah, it's a bucket. There really is a wide variety of applications for this sticker. This is a bucket. This is a bucket. So now will this Coming sticker... Coming to a staircase, Stanley and the bucket walked upstairs to the boss's office. So now I know that this is a bucket forever and ever. It is a bucket. It will never not be a bucket. Yep. No more Stanley fucking collectible. I guess there's only a couple things left to do and that's Stepping to... into his manager's office, Stanley was once again stunned mm -hmm. to discover Two, not an indication eight, of any human four, life. Five. Crushed, but Stanley guessed the correct code by sheer luck. I'm a damn genius. Was it the bucket new I'm a genius. Along? Was the bucket guiding him? Yes. Yes. This is certainly the most logical explanation. Hi, right, bucket. It's me and you. It's too dark. It's too dark to be anything. All right. Well, I have my bucket. I have my stickers on my bucket. And I only have one more choice to make. I think. I don't know. I don't know how many fucking choices there are. I guess I could also do the thing where there's not a bucket. Like, I've been running with this bucket for a long Stanley time. Stanley and the bucket walked straight ahead through the large door that read, Mind Control Facility. 
Mine control facility. Bam. The lights rose on an enormous room packed with television screens. What horrible secret did this place hold? Stanley and the bucket both wondered to themselves. Bam. The monitors jumped to life, and Stanley nearly dropped the what bucket in shock. Everyone in the office was being videotaped, monitored like guinea pigs. The bucket had never seen anything like this, and it very nearly burst into tears as Stanley cradled it gently, reassuring it that everything would be fine. You're okay, bucket. You're fine. All right, bucket. Right, here's where but we here was the change proof. our choice. The heart of the operation. Controls labeled with emotions, happy or sad or content. Walking, eating, working, all of it monitored and commanded from this very place. And as the cold reality of his past began to sink in, Stanley decided... Hang on, I got this. What is the... Hmm, I don't know. ...that this machinery would never again exert its terrible power over another human life. For he and the bucket would dismantle the controls for good. Two best friends, Stanley and the bucket, up against the world. Oh, but at the last second, the oh, bucket shit. jumped in and pressed the button to turn on the oh, controls. Bucket, why would you Stanley do that? Stanley gasped oh. in horror. Bucket, Had this no. been the bucket's plan all along? To take over the machine and claim the power for itself? How could the bucket have betrayed him like this? Stanley was bucket. prepared to throw How the bucket away you? in disgust when suddenly an image appeared upon the enormous screen. Birds. Silly. What? Silly birds. <laughs> what the fuck? The control buttons became active again. Silly birds. Oh my god. Fly this way or fly that way. Oh my god. I can watch birds. Stanley flipped through one video of silly birds after another. And then it dawned on him. This wasn't a mind control uh, facility at penguins. all. It was a facility for monitoring and surveilling silly birds all over the world. The mind controls what is were only that? a facade to disguise its true intentions. Had the bucket known this all along? Stanley marveled Aww. at the metal genius in his hands, the one who had pointed him towards this incredible discovery. Stanley and the Bucket never found freedom because they spent the rest of their lives here in this place, flipping through live streams of the birds. silliest birds imaginable. Of all the possible paths his life could have taken, this one was surely the best. And Stanley was happy. This is the best ending ever. I get to just look at birds. Dude, I don't know what the fuck is this. Um, all right. Not everyone is so lucky to have a bucket, but Stanley is a very lucky fellow. Very lucky indeed. Yeah, I Stanley am. Stanley clutched the bucket tightly to his chest and entered the door on his left. There's only, I've done it all. I've done everything. This was not the correct way to the meeting room. But Stanley had felt the bucket calling to him, telling him that the employee lounge was simply the place to be. I feel like I've done and everything. Here it was. Had the bucket turned out to be correct? Was this no? Never mind. The bucket was wrong. Now pick up the. <laughs> oh, hold on. Why did you unplug the phone? Shadow, I talked to Were the you thing. trying to resist the bucket's orders? Stanley, I was joking. Obviously, I don't want the bucket to isn't it. talking to you and telling you to do things. Buckets can't fuck? talk. It was a joke. Don't you get the joke? It's funny, Stanley. A talking bucket. <laughs> uh, can't you see? Uh, oh, goodness. I must have really bungled up the delivery if you actually took me seriously. Where did I mess up the joke? Should I have paused for longer or spoken quicker? Mm, comedic timing is so difficult. I wish I were better at it. But there isn't exactly an instructional video on comedy that one can watch to fully. Oh wait, yes, there is. Um, it's oh God, we right got here. a whole Let's different fucking video. Jesus Christ. What is comedic timing? What is comedic timing? How does it work? How long should it last? 
How can it be used to effectively silence your political enemies? What? And more importantly, can it be taught in its entirety within 90 seconds? Thankfully, the answer to all of these questions is yes. That makes Let's no sense. Dive it makes no sense. If you've ever told a joke or made someone laugh, in all likelihood, you did it while standing 50 to 80 centimeters from them in a room of no more than 76 degrees Fahrenheit with one of your arms raised straight upward at oh a 15-degree angle from your so body. So accurate. These are the optimal conditions for good comedic timing. To begin the joke, start by stating and spelling your name. Next, provide a brief synopsis of the joke, including the specific times at which the Jesus. recipient of the joke will laugh, and then spell out your name a second time. With these steps complete, it's time to begin the humor. Speak the entire joke in no more than 18 seconds oh and no God. less than 13 and a half, pausing only for bathroom breaks when necessary. When the joke has concluded, it is customary to inform your listener that the joke is over by declaring in your loudest possible voice, I'm Dunny with the funny. Let's practice screaming, I'm Dunny with the funny now. I'm, I'm Dunny with the funny. I'm Dunny with the funny. I'm Dunny with the funny. I'm not actually going to yell, dude. I'm this in a saying apartment. is a perfect example of expectations management, which is the cornerstone the funny, of dude. good comedy. Finally, it's time to hand out surveys. Collecting hard data from your audience on how rat they were throughout the joke is the only way to grow or learn as a comedian. An effective survey should be no less than 10 pages long and should include the same question reprinted several times. Just to ensure the survey taker is actually paying attention and not simply filling in answers at random. And that's all there is. With these strategies at your disposal, you'll have audiences doubled over in laughter and even tripled over in laughter in no time at all. Just remember to let them stop laughing at some point, you gut-busting little scamp. After all, we're each of us needed on the front lines of the what war the to fuck? fight the 12-legged invader who threaten our very what? existence the and will very likely die in a hailstorm of bullets and mandibles. All of us must be prepared to give our lives to this noble what? cause, just as our children must do after us what? and their children after them. Godspeed what? and may Earth reign supreme. What is the fucking hell divers is this? Hey, goodness, this video is a little outdated, isn't it? Well, no matter. I think the fundamentals of proper comedic timing are still as relevant today as they were back then. So with that in mind, my other I sticker? believe the only way forward is for us to return to the two doors and walk through all of this again so I can try telling my story with more appropriate comedic delivery. Come along, let's head back. But how am I supposed to know this is a bucket if I don't have my sticker telling me it's a bucket? What the fuck, dude? I can feel it. This time, I'm really going to nail the delivery. You'll be in stitches. A talking bucket, you'll say? How ridiculous. How absurd. What a hilarious concept. The king of comedy. That's what you'll call me. Thank goodness we had the instructional video. Otherwise, who knows where we'd be right now? Well, I wouldn't be the king of comedy, that's for sure. The oh, bucket spoke to Stanley. Hmm. The bucket spoke. The bucket spoke. Oh, I'll figure it out on the fly. No need to overthink things. All right, let's go back to the door. Doors. This time we'll uh, we'll keep it on track. We'll kind of listen a little bit, I guess. All right, two doors. Here we go. You ready? <clears throat> When Stanley and the Bucket came to a set of two open doors, they entered the door on the left. Alright. What the fuck? It sounded like a third door opened. Alright. No! No, I'm just kidding. We're not doing no, 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 no. You were supposed to go through the door on the right, leading back to the phone. What? Did you not even look at the instructional video? I think this is all covered very clearly. There's no way I can make the comedic timing work now. It's done. The joke is completely done and over. It's all your fault, Stanley. Oh my God, I'm going to be ridiculed in the community of other joke writers. I'm going to be <laughs> shamed at every one of our meetings from now on. All because you couldn't watch a simple video and take I, a hint. Are you proud like the of first time. me down, Stanley? Are you proud? It's like the first time I've ever taken Here the right go. path. You ready? <clears throat> 
When Stanley and the bucket came to a set of two open doors, they entered the door on the left. So I'm supposed to go right. I've always gone right. I... Uh, fuck you, dude. No. No, 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 no. You were nope. supposed to go through the door nope. on the right, nope. leading back. Nope. <sighs> Here we go. You ready? <clears throat> When Stanley and the Bucket came to a set of two open doors, they entered the door on the left. Dude, I'm gonna fucking... Alright, so you want me to go to the damn phone? Fine. What we got? What the fuck is this? What? Uh, we're back at the phone already? No, no, no. What's going on? There were supposed to be several rooms leading up to this. There was supposed to be a build-up to this point. A dramatic display of remarkable comedic wit which culminates in this scene with the phone. But now the timing's completely off. The joke will never no. land. Well, not, not the way it was meant to. I've and it's never all learned. my fault. I must have forgotten that the phone room comes immediately after the two doors room. It, it, what an uh, egregious mistake. Yeah. I've made a fool of myself. I don't deserve the title of King of Comedy. I'm nothing. I'm not even the lowliest joke-telling whelp. I think... I think oh, I need please. to go back and rewatch that no, video No, please. Again. Yes, surely. That will no. help me improve my... No. Stanley, you love the bucket so much, it's like you... <clears throat> it's as though all of your other most prized possessions pale in comparison. <laughs> yes. Stupid. Let, well, let me try that again, Stanley. I heard that you are pale with shame over how unabashedly in love with a bucket you are. No? Still not? It, is it the delivery? Pale with shame. Pale with shame. This is like the only actual pale. ending I've ever been able to get. What's another word to describe a bucket? Stanley, this bucket is so metal, I think I saw it playing guitar. No. No, 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 no. We're getting away from making fun of Stanley's obsession with the bucket, which was the whole point of this. Dude. Just, I'm no good at these jokes. Leave me my damn bucket alone. Videos. That's no. exactly what it Dude, is. this guy is fucking nuts. King of comedy again. More instructional videos. Who's Leroy? Let's see. Who the hell's Leroy? <laughs> 